Wait. I'm scared. Do you want to do 500 first? Okay. So that you're not, it's not everything. There you go. Oh. Did that convert it? Oh, yeah, there you go. 8,000 yen. Hey guys, it's me. <laughs> I was so excited to show you or tell you how much free stuff, like free toothbrush with toothpaste and razors. Okay, so quickly we're gonna do a room tour. We have some cabinets we can unpack a little bit and have all of our outfits down here. It's kind of quite dark because we are just checking in, but. This is our view. We kind of have a whole wraparound view of the city, which is really nice. And then we have a hallway. And then down. Oh my gosh, actually from this angle, the view looks insane. Just got our bags laid out. We have our bathroom, washroom area. So we got toilet, some towels, and then our shower. And then our sink is outside. Got a little mirror. And then yeah, the view looks so insane. We have a little um, table desk area, TV, and then our bed. So, you guys, come on. Wow. I'm so excited! In the morning, it'll be really nice because we're going to have our windows all like opened. And then we have the whole wraparound view. And yeah! <laughs> Okay, the lighting is a little weird, but I currently just freshened up my face and my outfit's very bare and simple. My sweatpants, my usual tank, my usual chain, my usual bag. Rebecca in the back to show them your outfit. Wait, I need you. This is her though. She loves her baggy clothes. Oh yeah. Gotta gotta keep in charge of picking hotels from now on because every hotel that I pick is just like fire. Come on. So I did a little bit of organizing last night to make sure that all my outfits are kind of laid out. So 
So first outfit, we're gonna do a little blazer moment. And then I also have a couple more at the back for the next few days that we're gonna be here. But yeah, I'm gonna actually wear it before I do my hair so it doesn't mess up my hairstyle for when we do our hair. But doing this like gray blazer set. <laughs> Um, for our hair, I'm gonna do, I think, a little updo because, I don't know, I just don't really... I was thinking of doing my normal braid, my side braid, with my hat. I don't know. We'll see. I think chat. it's like a steamer vibe. Is it not? I don't know, but I got How do you turn it on? I don't know. Is it on? It says on off. Wait, do you have more of that peach thing? No, I ate them all. I'm so sorry. There's so many more bags. Anyways, we're gonna figure out Miss Rebecca's iron. Do you have to like put water in it? I'm confused. Yeah, see, I think you have to put water in it. Okay, so I don't know what else to do after that. Can we FaceTime the receptionist on the iPad? <laughs> You know how funny that would be? Vlog. If this makes it, if this makes all the vlog, look how cool this is. You can, can call the concierge. You can call the receptionist. Look at that. Right off of this. I think you charge it. Where do we plug it? Where's the plug? Is there a plug down there? Okay, anyways. Ah, that was it. That was, that was our shenanigan of the day, okay? So these jeans are actually fairly large because I've lost a uh, tremendous amount of weight. So we're gonna have to belt it. Is this your debut? Can I film you? Mm. It smells like hairspray. I'm already filming you, so this is going in. Hi vlog. Can we do, can we do a chat? Guess how tall I am. It's a Colleen. Guess how tall I am. They have to know how tall I am first before they can guess you perfectly. All right, all right, chat. Listen to this. She she says she's five feet, but she's actually like four seven. I'm five three. That's how you can like tell. <laughs> <laughs> she's why she's four seven. What? First of all, okay. I'm four five one and a half to be exact. <laughs> what? To be exact, I am five one and a half. You must be five. Five three. Yeah, you're definitely five three. <laughs> our our height difference is like two inches. Come on. Not even. I wish I was your height. Ooh, we can't forget our watch rings. We are ready. The girls are ready. The girls are ready. The girls. Oh, shit. Whoa. Wait. Uh, four. Fit check. Fit check. We're kind of twinning. A little bit. A little bit, a little bit with the colors. What is it for? Take the temperature. Cold.
Rebecca ever gets sick of me, she can't ever get away from me because her Pinterest has me all over it. So all over. And also, guys, my pens. Like, who is that? <laughs> who is that? Did we touch her lip. I use the same one too. I use Fawn though. Love Refi. Fawn. Fawn, yeah. I use Amber. Oh, we're supposed to get pics for your thing. Okay. We're ready for your service. Bit check. Look at her, she's so cute. I love this outfit. Try, I try. Try it on this dress Where are we going? Ibisu. Ibisu. So she really wants like a pair of like Ibisu. <laughs> Jeans. What, what color do you think you're getting? Um, white. I don't know if that's too boring, but I want it to go with everything. I think you should have color. Uh, yeah, that's true. I would buy two pairs. I, I would do one like white. Can and they this. paint like your your little initial on that's it too? What I want. I want because my thing is R M. Mm -hmm. If they just do one like an R. Because like that's like your signature for your art too. But guys, guess what size I am? I'm gonna give you a second. I'm a size 36. Like, she likes to take. I it in. like to take in the waist. Um, but even size 34, it was not it was not doing it for mm -hmm. me. I like I like my jeans baggy. Yeah. So fun fact about me. Very baggy, very uh, wide leg, yeah, pretty much. That's me. Um, so yeah, we're gonna try and do that. Hopefully we can get it done, and then we're gonna head back to the hotel after kind of freshen up, change up the look a little bit, and then head out for like the nightlife vibe. It's nice. It's like lavender. I like the lavender. That's my favorite color. Purple. Yeah. But it's a wide yeah. leg. It's not wide leg. It's kind of slimmer yeah. at the bottom. No, because I would wear this actually. You would. Yeah, okay. I would. Because the ones I'm, I brought here are like this. They're just mm -hmm. tight around the waist. Okay. But what about the bottom? Like, do you like how it's a little cinched at the bottom? Yeah, like the, that? Ones I, the ones I brought here too are like this. That's why I like 36s. Because look, I would wear them like this, which is kind of fire. <laughs> it's destroying the elevator. <laughs> the book is like a jean. See if you zoom in. And the, uh, the, the venue. Hey, yeah, just on good. the, the non-wash jeans, the little bit easy to peel off. It's okay. Okay? Perfect. It's cool. totally fine. Cool. Oh, it's easier. Yeah. yeah. So it means yeah. I won't really be wearing this. <laughs> more, than, more than one wash. You're gonna frame it? <laughs> yeah. Basically. Oh, no more than one wash. The, do you want to take the big roll? Uh, yeah, the big one. The big one? The big yeah. one. Like, like, go the home. big one? Oh, yeah. Oh. oh yeah, definitely the big one. Yeah. Definitely the big one. But how long? How long does it take? Oh. That's the thing. I leave. I leave. This looks so cute like this. I might have to do my photo shoot like this. <laughs> Dude, I'm so tired. This is y'all queen right here. <laughs> Jet lag queen. But look but. at this. The view. Like, look at how beautiful this is. And there's more. Look at that. Using Rebecca's phone. Using my outfit. Hi. We are back at the hotel, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I was debating on switching out my look, but way too jet lag right now to do that. I think I'm just gonna switch out my outfit and then we're gonna go walk around at night and go to the convenience store to like grab all like the candies. Um, very chill night, it's our first night. But also I'm just like very jet lag. I had three hours of sleep today and so, I don't know, I'm kind of not functioning well now. Um, so yeah. After dinner, we're gonna walk around at night, just kind of like sightsee, and then go to like 7-Eleven and just like have like all the snacks and candies, and just have a chill night, you know? Like whenever I travel, I try not to stress myself out about like seeing everything, um, because we're only here for a couple days. I'm not trying to like 
go see everything because I know I'm not going to be able to go to every store and every shop that I want to go to um, because, you know, I'm coming back. So nonetheless, like I'm trying to make it like as eventful, but also like not putting pressure on not being able to see everything. But right now I'm kind of like the jet lag is really hitting me. So... Wait. Yeah, that's nice. Let's do the rare too, alright? Put the pressure up. <laughs> JZT. Snowman tea. I Rabbit didn't know what to wear. One thing about me, I don't bring like extra like comfy clothes to just kind of like change in and like kind of lo lounge around in because in my head I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be in this outfit the whole day that I don't think about whenever I wanna just be cozy. So just kind of wearing something casual, wearing my Marge. Same bralette top that I wore this morning and then just my Stussy cardigan just because it might get chilly. So, you know me. These are I'm so wearing special. the pink. Mm. Actually, where's my red one? Okay, I'm gonna stack the red. Okay, I'm gonna do pearl and gold because they match the vibe tonight. Nice! That's cute. like a photo booth or, or but like it could be photos. cute though like even if it was a passport photo like we do a passport <laughs> photo together I would so it's down. just like we're in it together it has like so cute little funny. mirror it's too. like business we're giving you business modeling photos or passport photos we got it all Love that's it. what it's giving i don't know if it's open it's like closed yeah look inside guys like why oh, maybe we have to pay before it opens up but that's cute we can do it tomorrow <laughs> Let me explain. So me and my friends plan to be in Tokyo for five days, but that also includes traveling to Tokyo. So that took off one day. Basically, we only really had three full days in Tokyo and the fourth day we were gonna go back home. And I don't know what occurred in our heads so that like that would be enough time for us to be in Tokyo, but definitely it's not. So that I think is like the first wrong thing that we did is that we didn't really plan for us to be there for that long. Second thing is jet lag. Now I didn't know that it's going to be harder for me to adapt to the time zone in Tokyo because usually I adapt pretty well to the time zone whenever I do travel to LA, to New York, to Calgary. Like I, I kind of pick up really fast. So we landed in Tokyo the 26th at night. So we didn't really have time to like really roam around. We went out to get food and that was it. And kind of like tried to go to sleep. But I only had three hours of sleep, mind you. I went to sleep at midnight thinking that I would wake up at 8 a.m. But I only woke up at 3 a.m. And couldn't go to sleep after that. I think part of me was really, really, really excited to be in Tokyo that I couldn't go back to sleep that night. So that day I only really had three hours of sleep, which was fine. It was good enough to like keep me going throughout the day, but I was done by like 10 p.m. Mind you, I was only running on three hours of sleep the first day. So the second day, I only had two hours of sleep. And I don't know why, I don't know what was wrong with me. Like I couldn't go back. Like every time I wake up, it was so hard for me to go back to sleep. And that day we were meant to go like vintage shopping, a lot of walking, a lot of roaming around and I knew, I know my body and I knew that my body could not keep going 
considering that I only really had five hours of sleep the last like 48 hours. So, so that day was kind of where everything fell apart because I lacked so much energy that I couldn't, I couldn't keep going. I couldn't keep vlogging knowing the state that my body felt and like how I felt in general. That day I took a cold shower to help wake up my body and keep me going throughout the day but I felt like I was like literally delusional and I felt like I was floating and so that day I didn't vlog at all because I knew that I was going to be very low on energy and I didn't really even want to like put makeup on I couldn't couldn't care less at this point because I felt like horrible I didn't beat myself down for like not being able to vlog the trip because I'm like if everything else fails throughout the trip it's okay because I can always come back and that is what I'm gonna be doing I'm going to <laughs> I'm literally gonna come back. I'm gonna come back for my birthday on April because it was not enough time and I really, really, really love Japan that like I, it's like a no brainer for me. I'm booking my trip right now. The next day, I was maybe thinking if I could continue the vlog from that day, but my friend got sick and also like, I just felt like I just wanna be present not having to vlog anything because at this point, I'm just trying to like enjoy Japan for what it is and for what my situation was but overall it was not a horrible trip i feel like we kind of like turned it around um and still enjoyed it for what it is um and for me i think what i've realized from that trip is that you really have to have that mindset that can turn your situation around regardless of how unideal it was for for, for you obviously i came to japan expecting that it was going to be a very grand and very exciting very fun doing this this that trip but sometimes the life kicks you in the ass and things fall apart but it's really up to you to kind of turn things around like i'm not gonna be sitting there in my hotel room wallowing because i had two hours of sleep the whole day um so that's kind of like what i did me and my friend did i actually got to know my friend a lot better during that trip so that i'm really thankful for and you know it's my first time traveling with my friend Rebecca um, so it was nice to kind of like get to know her more I did go shopping obviously a little bit just a little bit but I felt like if I was there for longer I could have I could have had way more way more we couldn't end the vlog without a haul so I'm gonna do a bit of like a, a candy haul taste test type vibe also did a bit of thrifting in Japan which I'm gonna get into after I cannot help myself I kind of finished this already I only left one literally probably my favorite one ever And you know what I did? I ordered 10 packs of this online. These we've kind of already um, tried in Japan. I got these like peach um, haichu candy. So highly recommend that. I'm gonna try this packet. It looks like that. Beautiful. Mm. I love strawberry. I feel like strawberry chocolate in Japan is really good. Okay, love that. That's like a 10. I already tried this, but we're gonna open a new pack. This one's a chocolate. Yum. Now we have Galbo. Looks like that. That's good too. I don't even know how to rate everything because everything to me is really good. Nothing that I don't particularly like yet. Looks like that. I think these are a strawberry as well. Mmm, that's nice too. And then I got these cute little ones. I feel like most of the chocolate tastes the same. It just depends like with the flavor, but I really like the consistency of their chocolate. And also it's not too overpower overpoweringly, overpoweringly sweet. <gasps> Please tell me this tastes like the one that I already have. Mmm. I like this one better, but they kind of taste a little bit similar. This brand for chocolate, absolutely amazing. Matcha. Matcha. Okay, we're gonna try, I don't know what flavor this is, I think grape. Mmm, wait, love. Brown sugar and rich milk. Oh, it's not coffee, it's brown sugar. Love that, actually. So I got three different flavors. Guess which one I've already tried. Actually, I already tried this. It was okay, it was like matcha. 
comes in a pouch. So this I got from the duty-free section at the airport. It looks like this. It has like this wafer in the middle. It's not real strawberry, but it's like a wafer, but I don't know why it's almost like soury. One thing that I'm really excited to unbox are these um, little furniture that I'm going to add to my apartment. It's like you either get this, 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 or that. I think I'm gonna decorate this and put it on, either on top of my TV and kind of have like a whole setup. A couple of things for my house as well. I got this mug in stripe. You guys know me with like stripe polka dots, like anything like that for my house. I love. And then I got a new matcha whisk, which I kind of hope that um, I got like a little matcha holder, matcha whisk holder where you kind of <laughs> slip it in. And then I also got a long awaited, much needed matcha bowl to whisk my matcha in. Now I'm gonna show you guys things that I thrifted. Starting off with my favorite one. This beautiful yellow ruffle. It has like the ruffle pleating. It's so beautiful. She is so, so beautiful. Um, so when I saw this, it had to be mine. It just had to be, it has my name all over it. And then, you guys already kind of know my vibe, but I'm still trying to like really grow my collection on it. But any like ruffle, like very whimsical tops, I love. Love this like really soft and subtle ruffle. It's also a little bit um, transparent. Um, and then at the back, it looks like this as well. I was gonna do a try on, but I'm too lazy for that. Let's get the gym. And then I also got this jersey. Which I love as well. I really like how it's like not your typical jersey. It has like this like peplum um, shoulder, which I love peplum shoulder tops. Um, and then it's also it's also like netted. And then I also got a really light windbreaker for when I whenever I have to go to the gym during the summertime. I feel like this is what I needed. Um, so I got this from the North Face. I got this really cute chunky sweater, especially that we're approaching the fall time. I thought it was very on brand for me to have like a chunky knit sweater. So yeah, it's very large as well. So it kind of like goes down to my like, not my not my knees, but, <laughs> but yeah, really like the color as well. The knit is amazing. And then this one, I just kind of bought this because I need more like slouchy kind of casual pants for like running errands and whatnot. So got these like Adidas navy blue pants. So give me more time in Japan and I'll have a whole closet, a whole suitcase full of clothes to bring back. Thank you for watching regardless of how much of a fail this was. So Japan, I will see you back in April.